What's up, it's Patrick. So today I'm going to show you the jailbreak for the 3.0 firmware. I'm going to show you, of course, iPod Touch second generation. Um, but the Red Snow 3.0 jailbreak is for all the iPod, uh, for our iPod first gen, iPod second gen, and for the iPhone 3G. But not for the iPhone 3GS, okay? So don't try it. It's going to mess up your iPhone. So, first of all, uh, uh, warning first. Uh, if, you're, if, you don't ha if, you, if you downloaded your apps from Installus, it's all going to be erased. And if all the apps in your iPhone, your iPod, it's all going to be erased. So yeah, that's just a warning. So, but if you have your apps in iTunes, like I, the way I do it, I download it and then I put it in iTunes so that when I jailbreak or whatever, I still can sync it easily. And yeah, there you go. It's that easy. But if you don't have it in iTunes, you got it from Installus, it's going to be all erased, okay? So first I want you to download the firmware. It's in the description. It's flexburns.de iPod, so just click on that, download the appropriate firmware for your iPod, iPhone, whatever. I'm going to show you the, the iPod second generation jailbreak. So there. Um, after that, I want you to, pot, to put your device in DFU mode. Okay, just right now. I want you to put your device in DFU mode. Because that's all we have to do. Uh, actually, after you put your device in DFU mode, the computer is going to work on its own. The jailbreak is going to work on its own. Okay? So now, uh, the Red Snow 3.0 jailbreak uh, program, it's in the description. Go ahead and click on it, just download it. Keep everything in the uh, desktop, okay? So you won't be having a hard time looking for it. So now, um, open up iTunes and then restore your iPod and the, and the firmware you downloaded. First, disconnect from the internet. Because if not, it's going to prompt you to pay $10, I think, 10 bucks. So yeah, just disconnect from the internet and then restore, it's going to go. And then after you uh, restore, close up iTunes, and then extract the folder right here. Uh, you're going to see the Jailbreak 3.0. And then just go ahead and open it. And then open the Red Snow folder. Now for Vista users, open uh, cl right click redsnow.exe properties. And just check the compatibility. And uh, run this program in compatibility mode 4. There you go. Windows XP Service Pack 2, excuse me. Let's click OK. And then if you have a firewall like I do, um, disable it first because Red Snow is going to download stuff. Go ahead and for Vista users, again, run as administrator so it won't cause you problems. For XP and if you're using XP, just go ahead and click on it, run it. Okay, there you go. Um, Red Snow is requesting permission. Click allow. There you go, Red Snow is going to come out. Let me just close this. <laughs> Again, save time, put your iPod already in DFU mode, okay? So click Browse. So it should be on your desktop. Click iPod 2nd Gen 3.0 7A341 Restore. Open. And then it's going to process it. Just wait for it. Okay, IPSW successfully identified. Next. And there you go. And it's on its way. It's just going to be fast, actually. This is why you need to disable your firewall because it's going to download stuff from the from there. You know? There you go. Um, now, you will have two choices, Insidia and, and IC. IC is like Cydia, just better interface and stuff. So just go ahead with Cydia because I'm used to Cydia and IC is not that good for me. So just go ahead and click install Cydia. Then next. Now, please make sure your, your device is both off and plugged into the computer. Uh, if I were you, I told you put it in DFU mode already so you won't have a hard time anymore. If you still don't know how to put your device in DFU mode, I'm going to put the link in the description for you guys to watch it. And yeah, there you go. And then click next. And then if it's in DFU mode, see, it's just going to go ahead and do its do its magic. Okay? Uh, let's just wait for it. It's going to be fast. Um, your iPod is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to turn white screen. And yeah, there you go. It's gonna reboot a couple of times. There you go. You're gonna be you're gonna be seeing a RAM disk icon. It's, it says download jailbreak data, and yeah. So just wait for it to finish, and that's it. It's jailbroken. Yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna wait for it. Just just wait for it. This is this is very easy. I told you before doing anything like after you uh, upgrade to 3.0 firmware. Um, put it already in DFU mode so you just click next 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 in the red snow program and that's that's it it's gonna run on its own
There you go, uploading RAM disk. <sighs> now, if you're wondering for the... There you go, it's rebooting, and it's done. And then your iPod's gonna check it. It's gonna reboot on its own, just wait for it. Let me come back at you guys when it's done. No, just wait for it. There you go, it's flashing NOR, blah blah blah, it's doing its work. <coughs> okay, so while waiting, let's play some music. What music do I have? I don't want to pause it anymore because I don't want to make stuff. Let's play some Michael Jackson. Huh. What song is good, Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm. Let's play something with a collaboration. Where is it? Paul McCartney, no. iTunes, Michael Jackson. You just play rock with you. Uh, there you go. So my iPod is rebooting already. It has the Apple logo. Just wait for it. There you go. I, I hope you heard that sound. Just reboot. Okay. Listen first. Okay, sadly, the jailbreak is done. So just click and finish. So my iPod is jailbroken already. I wish I could show you guys, but. Uh, uh, okay, let me show you. No, never mind. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I have city already. Now, for the remember when we had the two two point two point one jailbreak, there was a mobile installation patch we needed to install, right? But for the three point it's gonna be different. Now, if you if you done jailbreaking, go ahead and go to Cydia. and then it's gonna upgrade and stuff. Just choose user. You're a user. So then go ahead and go to manage. <laughs> I can show you this guys because I don't have Wi-Fi right now. My Wi-Fi is not. My router's being a jerk. So yeah, I couldn't show you. Okay, go ahead and go to Cydia. And of course add. Uh, add a source. Um, type Cydia.hackulo.us. If you didn't get that, it's going to be in the description. And then let it reload and stuff. If it says error, just um, do it all over, over and over again because it's gonna download piece by piece. So just add and add and add. And then after it adds, go ahead and go to sections. After going to sections, go to hackulo.us folder. And then you're gonna see app sync. Okay. Now uh, click on app sync, install it. And then there you go. If it if it, it says a uh, failed blah blah blah, just go ahead, go back and install and install until it's done. Because sometimes the servers are slow, so just repeat it until it's done. Because um, when when it says fail, it's gonna it's gonna pause at where it's where. Um, for example, it stopped at forty percent. When it says fail, when you redo it, it's still gonna be from forty percent going to hundred. So it's gonna be just just be patient okay so there you go app sync after that um, you can go ahead and download the stuff you use like categories font swap um, for win SCP, go download toggle ssh and automatic ssh and then uh, winter board is gonna work too again okay. uh, everything's gonna work um, for the game boy uh, for the game boy videos and nes go ahead and it's gonna be in the description for my old videos because it's the same procedure so there you go that's the jailbreak for the iPod Touch 2nd Gen and any iPod, iPhone, whatever. There you go, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, if, you have, if you're having any problems, put it in the, in, the, in the comments down there. And please don't forget to rate, comment, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and hope you learned something.